Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for watching as always. Today I'm bringing you three different hummus recipes, all healthy, no oil, and super, super simple to do. I hope you guys enjoy this. Please give it a thumbs up if you do, and let's get into it. So each of these recipes is going to have the same base. Um, we're gonna have some garbanzo beans, some tahini, some garlic, cumin, pepper, and lemon. The first one we're gonna do is a roasted garlic hummus. So we are gonna do the entire recipe completely in the blender. It doesn't really take much more work than that. And we are gonna start by taking our can of chickpeas or garbanzo beans and draining and rinsing them. Keep a little bit of the uh, liquid that comes in it off to the side in case you need to add it to thin it out as you go. I did not need to do that on this, which was great. Then I'm gonna add some lemon juice as well as some tahini. And then we're gonna definitely add some cumin to this with some black pepper. Cumin is very, very important. It really does give it that flavor that hummus has. I'm going to add this roasted garlic to this. This is delicious. Add as much or as little as you want. I went a little overboard, but I love garlic. I love it. And this roasted pre-packaged kind was delicious. If you do not have that though, you can always roast your own. And then you're just going to blend this up. Um, help it out, of course, if needed and scrape it down on the sides and just let it go until it's the consistency you want. I like it really creamy and that's exactly what I got. It was very, very good. And then just garnish it with a little bit more cumin and some roasted garlic pieces. As simple as that, you guys. Really that easy. So the next one is going to be a sun-dried tomato hummus and this was really really good. Lots of flavor. We're going to start by actually toasting up some pine nuts. Um, you just want to do this over a low heat, no more than like five minutes and keep an eye on it because you don't want these to burn. You just want them lightly toasted and I'm going to add this to again that same base. I just didn't add as much garlic to my base this time and I'm going to also add some sun-dried tomatoes to this. Now this is already in an oil so I just did my best to not add any additional oil but there's a little bit in this particular recipe and we're just gonna blend that one up and I'm telling you it was that simple and it was so so good And then if you want a little added kick, you can add a little bit of chili flake on top. I just did that because I've been loving chili flakes lately. <laughs> the last but not least is the roasted eggplant hummus. This was my like dupe for the Trader Joe's one. And guys, I think I got it. It was really, really close and very, very good. So you're gonna take an eggplant, cut it in half long ways as you see here, Put it on a baking sheet, let that go for like 20 to 25 minutes, and look how golden brown it is, and it should be very, very soft. I'm gonna let it cool for about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, just so it's not too hot, and it's gonna look something like this. Not the prettiest thing, but it really is the tastiest thing. And then you're just gonna gut it out and put it into your blender again with that same base that we've been using. And I'm gonna do the entire thing, and oh my goodness, the consistency of this and the flavor was spot on so so good you guys so simple too I decided to garnish this one with some basil just some fresh basil it just sounded really good together to me as well as a little bit more of the roasted garlic I love garlic as you can see <laughs> these are my three hummuses as simple as that you guys pair it up with some veggies and some pita bread and you've got yourself a delicious lunch or snack and you can even pre-make these hummuses so you have them throughout the week. Good stuff. I hope you guys really enjoyed this and it gave you some ideas of how simple it can be to make your own hummus. And I hope you get creative with it too and change it up all the time. Thank you guys so, so much for watching as always. Please subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys tomorrow.